Hello everyone! I've recently unboxed the Yugi M708 and now I'll be going through setting this up on my Mac. There will be a separate video for Windows users, links will be available in the top corner and description box below. The pen tablet comes with a single connection wire. One end should be a standard USB 3 which goes into the computer or laptop and the other goes into the left hand side of the tablet. Keep in mind if you have a newer MacBook that uses USB-C you may need to get a USB to USB-C adapter. I cannot guarantee it will work though as I cannot test it for myself. However, these adapters are fairly cheap so it wouldn't be a bad idea to try and see if it works. As soon as the M708 is plugged in, the MacBook recognises it as a keyboard and in turn pops up the keyboard setup assistant. You're going to want to close this window as it's not going to be of any use. The Ugi M708 comes with a setup disc, but since I don't have a CD or DVD reader on my MacBook, I'm going to have to download the driver from Ugi's website at ugi.net. On the home page there are menus along the top right hand side. Head into products then click on the pen tablets. This leads to a page full of all the pen tablets that Ugi have made. This white tablet here caught my eye, it looks so pretty in the photo here. Anyway, I should be looking at the M708 which is the third tablet along from the top. Clicking on the image brings us to a page with the description and specification of the product. I noticed the manual the M708 came with doesn't mention it is Windows 10 compatible, but here on the website they have updated it to include Windows 10, which suggests the actual manual is outdated and the installation CD may also be outdated. So regardless of whether you have a CD reader or not, I would recommend downloading the driver rather than using the CD provided. The driver page can be found by clicking on the driver link at the top right hand side. The top two links should be the latest driver available for the M708, as well as a few other models. Make sure to select the right version for your operating system. Here I'll be downloading the Mac version for my MacBook Pro. It will download as a zip file. You may need to unzip it, but for me my Mac automatically unzips after downloading. Next open the driver installation package and follow instructions to install. It shouldn't take too long but once done you'll be presented with the UI for the pen tablet setting. Unlike the Wacom tablet settings UI, the Ugi's UI does not appear in the system preferences. Instead it shows up amongst the applications menu. Within the UI you can change the configuration of the shortcut buttons of the pen as well as the shortcut keys of the tablet itself. On the scope tab the active area can be adjusted. I ended up adjusting the border of the active area from 0.16 inch to 0.5 inches. I found that was personally comfortable for myself. Of course the final step should be to open up a drawing program which supports pressure levels and test out the Yugi M708 to make sure it's working as it should. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon in another video. Until next time, bye!